Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create Kinect Control presentation tool including red dot pen, magnifying glass, drawing and highlight tools and more if wanted. This is done with Quartz Composer and Nimate program available online for free. So, extra patches from kinema.net, download all these to make it work and after this we build this layout here. Image first to billboard and from billboard the width to 2 to cover the whole area and from that we put the image to the crop and dimensions patches and from here we put the image dimensions pixel wide and pixel high to mathematical expressions input B and type this expression here this is for converting the mouse movement to crop movement where you want the cropping to happen and the magnifying glass to work. We can connect the results to crop X and crop Y. Uh, just move this here and it cropped image to sprite image. And rounded rectangle we can put the value to 0 0.5 to make it round and connect it to mask image. And as you can see now we have almost our magnifying glass ready. Now we connect the X position to sprite X and Y to sprite Y to follow the mouse. Then we connect the X position to math input A. Then from the image crop we set the width and height to 300. I prefer 300, you can choose whichever you want. This controls the amount of zoom in the magnifying glass itself. And here you go, it's working and let me just name this here real quick and next we're gonna make the red dot pen or whatever you wanna call it with the circle patch just drag it in there and put the parameters here of course red color and then we're gonna put the soft in and show highlight off you can play around with these as you want but I just put these here for now then the positions from the mouse X to X and Y to Y and let's see if it works Yes, there it is. And then keyboard, I have done ASD and F and A, I put the magnifying glass and S to circle. And when I press them, it should work. So let's close that. A, magnifying glass and S, the red dot. There we go. Let's name this one too here. And for the next part, you need these patches from the library. Structure maker, Q and GL line structure. Then from the structure maker you put the inputs to 2 and connect from structure to value and from Q to input lines. Then the commands from the keyboard D let's put it to filling and F to reset signal. And then GL line structure let's change these parameters a little bit 15 line width and the color to green or whatever you want. Uh, the opacity should be very very low. I use 4 to make it more see-through. Then from the mouse positions we connect them to the Kinema Structure Maker input 1 and input 2 to make it follow the mouse and from the queue let's put it to 1000 to make the line last longer and here you go pressing D it works and pressing F it deletes it and highlighting as well and let's name that too. Next let's do a little trick to make it a little bit more user friendly so you don't have to press the keys all the time when you want to use the tools. Let's take a counter and mathematical expression and you can type in it a percentage mark and two and let's make three copies of that. Excuse me for this next one I wasn't completely logical. These can be moved a little bit to make more room and then let's connect the result to the enable one in the circle and the magnifying glass and the highlight pen the result goes to the filling and from the keyboard the key goes to increasing signal and the count from the counter goes to value A you only press once and it turns on and when you press again it turns off it works on all of them and actually I accidentally made a fourth one for the reset signal in the queue which you don't really need so let's just delete that and connect the F back to the reset signal. That's the engine in Quartz Composer. Now we have to have Nimate to continue and a Kinect camera. Also you can download the QC OSC patch to Quartz Composer from Hexler.net and we'll work with those from now on. In the Nimate set up the triggers as you wish. I put it to the left hand and 
you set up the port, which is here at 7000, and the IP. And when you go to the Quartz Composer, you take QC OSC patch, where you set up the port as well, and you should get the signal shortly. Here we have the data from the Nimate, and also a few structure index members for the right hand X and Y coordinates. Also mathematical expressions, 8 times 2 minus 1 and 8 times 2. From the OSC we can connect the right hand to the structure index members, set up the index to the X coordinate 0 and for the Y 1, connect it to the mathematical expressions where it goes back to the X and Y coordinates. And we can delete the mouse, we don't need this anymore. And now for the triggers, we just track the triggers that we want to replace the keyboard commands and we should be on our way. Also it's really handy to display the ghost to see what you're doing and here we go, we have a working presentation tool including one leftover trigger to use for slide swaps or other useful stuff. I hope you found this video useful and now the only job left to do is learn how to use it.